Hello everyone, so we're in another session of drawing or inking. So for today's piece or for today's sketch, um, I was browsing on the late master Kim jong is sketchbook from 2011. And, you know, I just scrolled through his sketchbook and tried to find one of his um, pieces that I would like to try and you know replicate stuff like that and study. So I decided to have this um, tiger samurai. So, some sort and yeah I decided to ink that one or draw that one I'm really fascinated with Kim Jong Il's art you know and ever since I discovered one of his works I really like like dove in in his artworks and try to study how he does his parts, how he does his um, sketches and stuff like that, and how he perceives art, what he thinks while doing art, and the process itself on how he draws it. So I drew inspiration from him and, you know, practice every day to try and, you know, be a bit better compared to my last drawing and yeah, I'm just really inspired by his works so I'm trying to I don't know uh, do one of his works I just hope that I'll do it justice and anyway I also want to talk about like the frustration that comes with learning art you know especially me uh, myself I'm I'm just starting uh, I just started like a month ago in art and you know it's really frustrating when you start studying art because you can I mean you can put on paper what's in your mind you can do basic anatomy um, all the stuff that you do always looks so I don't know horrendous <laughs> they're they're always like an abomination of some sort and you always want to just rip them like rip them apart and uh, and you will always have this like voice like inside your head saying you should just stop because um all that you i mean all the arts that you do are just are just so ugly horrendous no, I'm I'm really struggling with that problem uh, right now because as I've said I'm also an art baby. Like I'm just one month old. <laughs> yeah, and you know one of the things that I try to try and combat it is you know explore other artists' early works and how they deal with um the same problem as we art babies still encounter like they do no you know just having a like a fresh perspective from a professional artist will make a huge difference on how you see making a, making an art or at least that's how it is for me you know um listening to other artists opinion perspectives on art really helps me a lot personally when it comes to like dealing with the frustration that comes with being a beginner because let's be honest here um, as a beginner of course all the things or most of the things that we will produce will be ugly horrendous so we're always torn between stopping and pursuing it more to become better so it's really hard and a lot of people, a lot of art babies um, choose um, quitting 
instead of um, pursuing it more and studying more stuff like that and I just find it very sad because I don't know it's just there's just something about art that brings an emotion that we can't really explain you know it triggers something within our emotion that that is hard to put into words or at least that's how I feel about it every time I see an art piece a work even just sketch or doodles you know I just it's tr- triggers something within me and I want to have that same impact with other people you know like soon <laughs> I just hope that uh, one day I'll be able to do to induce that kind of emotion that I feel whenever I see uh, a professional artist's work and yeah I just hope one day I'll become better at it in a level that I will be able to provide that kind of feeling or emotion with other people <laughs> and uh, as I've said earlier anyway um, when it comes to frustration dealing with the frustration you know again it's normal or at least that's what I think it's normal especially as someone who's just beginning to learn art because you know it can be a bit overwhelming when it comes to art because in social in social media there's a lot of great artists out there you know when you see their art and try to do your own you become like overwhelmed with frustration because if you compare your art to them of course they have years of years and years of experience that you know that reflects on their work and if we do that of course we will be frustrated if we look our own art as beginners because it's nowhere near as good as theirs but you know um, I personally think and say to myself that um, they're not my competition when it comes to doing an art the only competition I have is with myself on how I can improve day by day I make I always make sure that I'm better today compared to yesterday and that's how I motivate myself when it comes to you know overcoming the frustration that I feel every time that I do something and I'm not happy about the result or <laughs> yeah I'm just I'm just ranting <laughs> uh, yeah that's my thoughts about like the frustration in being you know an art baby and the uh, things that we're not satisfied about our own arts and yeah I guess <laughs> that's it and this is the samurai tiger that I saw in one of late master Kim jong Yi's sketchbook that I tried to replicate I hope I did it some justice and to be honest I'm a bit I'm not that satisfied with the result but um, I can see some improvement compared to my previous arts and uh, and, I'm, and that's okay and that's I'm satisfied with that and yeah <laughs> I guess that's it uh, thank you so much for watching us I hope that you enjoy this video as much as I did enjoy making this piece thank you so much for watching and see you on the next one bye bye